Selling. No, they can't stop her. And she tripping, don't pop her. Speak proper with my brown lips. Yo, my hips popping when that be dropping. And that ass shake like an earthquake. Look, my words bake nice and high. I get the little wise when that bud hit my eyes. Budweiser. When that bud hit my eyes. I'm Budweiser. I'm Budweiser. When that bud hit my eyes. I'm Budweiser. Like closed open. Like a Louis red vest. Yo, my shoulders showing. Hit the deck when the lower class get to know and fuck the rest be coming up. Wait a sec, we running up. Wait. How you doing? My name is Dayla, aka Dayla Soul, aka Sade, and I'm here with my first ever. Unpackaging video. Let's get it cracking. So basically, I ordered four or five things from this amazing website for the first time called HairToBeauty.com. Okay. So this is my first ever, you know, review packaging video. I'm a very honest person, especially when it comes down to my hair, y'all. So bear with me. This is my first time, but I hope you guys enjoy because I'm definitely going to give an honest review on. Two wigs, one puff ball, and maybe some foundation. I might, um, I'm not sure, but I definitely will show you this highlight, this metallic highlight that I got. Let's get it started. So, here's the inquiries. So, I got Amara, the All Trace Synthetic Lace Front Swiss Wig, item number whatever. It's Otre Amada. So her name is Amada. It's cute. I got it for $23.99 from US dollars. Also got um Gem 46. I've been seeing this on YouTube and it's such a pretty hair. Gem 46 Sensational Empress Lace Parting Wig. Item number Send Gem 46. I got that one for $21.99 US dollars. Also got Kiss New York uh, Shine Control Press Powder. PP. I got pressed powder. Oh, I got. I, I didn't even know that I got um some um. I have two siblings behind here, and they are immature. They're playing, but we gonna get through this video, y'all. Let's get it because they are big, immature, laughing at silly faces on their phones. Anyway, um, so I got. Kiss New York Shine Control Press Powder. I actually have a very oily face. As you can tell, you can see a little bit of the oil on my face. Um, I've always had oily skin. And this is my first time um, getting some type of powder that's gonna control the shine after I apply the foundation. So I'm very glad that I got that. So I'm definitely gonna give you guys an honest review for my oily skin and how it works on this. It's called, um, like I said, it's um, Kiss New York Shine Control. I got it for $6.99 US dollars on Hair to Beauty. Got the foundation is called Magic Collection Extra Coverage Liquid Type Foundation. I got that for $5.99. That's actually a really good price online for a foundation. My first foundation that I ever really got was like a year ago. I'm not about to hold you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I got it for like $15 to about $30, I believe, from Sephora. Of course, it was um the second to best. Fenty Beauty product. They were out, but it was good. It was good. But basically, it was not good for my skin type because my skin type is very oily. So, so the, this foundation, hopefully, with the um, combination, is going to help. We'll see. I got another um, synthetic piece. It's called Puff Girl Free Tress Equal Synthetic Jawstring Ponytail. Item number PQ. P U F for $9.59. So it's you know it's a nice little piece that you can put on top of my put on top of your head. When you don't feel like doing your hair, you just wanna slick it all up, slick it back, you know what I'm saying? And plop that little jawstring ponytail on and you're ready to go. I did have a fake ponytail. At a young age, I had a little fake ponytail. I don't remember wearing ponytails after that. I always thought it was just too fluky. Like you either have you either have all of your hair down with the weave or you have none. So I kinda wasn't that in between until now. 
And then last but not least, I'm very excited to try this. I got the Santi Holographic Glow Drop Liquid. Um, and I got that for $2.99. So $2.99 for some graphic like metallic highlighter. Why the heck not? So basically all that stuff came up to $71.54. Basically the shipping actually took a good amount of time. Um, this is priority mail, two-day shipping. So I ordered it, um, let me see, what's today? June 21st. And let's see, I ordered on June 16th. So really fast shipping if you want to think about it like that. Stop wasting y'all time and let me get to this unpackaging. All right, so the package is pretty big. As you can see, I ordered a few things all at once. So this is why it's pretty big. Um, we're gonna start opening it now. It looks like somebody tried to open it. Try to take a little peek in my box before I opened it, before I got here, see? See that little Okay, so just opening up the box. This hair is looking bomb already, y'all. I'm definitely gonna take these tracks out because right now I have like a freaking I have tracks in, but like I had a photo shoot yesterday, so I had to like do something with my hair that was Afro centric, and the weave that I got is not Afro centric at all, not even real. So I had to do something that's like you know, what I'm saying wrap it up. Do my little baby hairs. As you can see, my baby hairs have been acting right, acting tight, baby. You know, they've been acting right for the first time. So the first thing I see here is the Empress Lace Parting Wig. Oh, oh. So I did get blonde. 613. Um, it's a nice, pretty, pretty, pretty blonde. Now, to be honest with you guys, have I tried blonde before? I don't remember, I don't recall. But you know a girl is about to rock whatever comes my way. So, yeah, this is the Empress Lace Party Wig. And we got the Amada. See that? Uh, I guess you guys can see the name. Amada number four. The little puff ball. The puff ball. Puff, puff, puff. Puff ball for you. Okay, so yeah, I got this cute little puff ball. It's so cute. A little white girl, little white skin girl in there. She, she cute. It ain't even her hair, but look at her pretending to be in her hair. It's so it's cute. I like it. And the small items came in this little, you know, priority bag or whatever. They bagged it. They definitely wrapped it tight and secure. And I got the pressed powder, shine control, and time brillo. I got it in, in color rich mocha. Then I got the magic foundation. I've been needing foundation. I can't wait to try this. So here is the extra coverage liquid type foundation magic collection. Looks like my skin color. Hopefully, I hope it's about right. Ooh, ooh, what the? What in the world is that? Great bottle. Okay, I guess I just take it out like this. I might do a little quick swatch test just to see what it's looking like on my skin. Actually, good. That looks like about right, I think. Yeah. Isn't that blending with my skin, Aki? Yep. It looks like it's my skin, like it's just glistening a little bit. It definitely blended in better than what I thought. Skin, you can barely, like, you can barely see it. Like, it looks like it just lays on top of my skin, and it's just there. And then, last but not least, my favorite. I've been looking forward to trying this. I got the Holographic Glove, Glove, Glove. And I got it in color, I think it's like a rose gold. It looks like the rose gold one. 
I want to try something different because I'm always using gold highlighters and gold, you know, everywhere on my face because I feel like that's the only thing that looks good on my skin. Just to see how it looks on, you know, us chocolate girls because you know what I'm saying, us chocolate girls go. Mm. Yes, yes, did it, perfect. All right, so as you can see, there we go. It's nice and, nice and focused now. Focus on me. Okay, I think it's focused a little bit. Okay. This is what it looks like on my skin. It smells weird, but it's definitely pigmented, that's for sure. Cute. Nice little glowy difference. Okay, so that's just a preview for that. Or my camera just stopped recording, but I'm back at it again. Next, we're going to review Amara. Amara la Negra. That's what you're gonna call me after I put this one. Amara the Black. This is Amara. Hello, Amara. Ooh, Amara is long. Ooh, yes. It's pretty long. So I'm undoing the net that keeps the hair together. And it comes like this with the parts, I guess with the paper inside and the cardboard to make sure it doesn't flatten out and all that jazz. The lace has to be cut, as you can see. Lace has to be cut. It comes with the little, I forgot what type of card this is called. Index cards, cut cards, something. The specs on Amada. It comes with two combs in the front, one comb in the back. Comes with a some strap ons to secure your wig. There we go. See, the lace closure is pretty cute. I like it, and it is all the way around too. So it's it's great. All right, so I'm liking this. This is Amada. As you can see, the curls are really cute. They're like beach waves, you know. Got some hang time on her too. Sad. But yeah, this is really cute. The color, I like it. The color isn't ugly. It's like a light brown, if you look. It's like a light brown, it's cute. But I'm definitely feeling this wig. I'm definitely gonna put it on, probably for the next video, because I have to do all of this. Yeah, I like about it though. Overall, it looks really cute. The curls are cute. The closure looks good. It's a lace frontal. As you can see, all you have to do is adjust, adjust, adjust. The part goes straight down. Everywhere else, there is no part. So yeah, it just has a part down the middle. It's really cute though, I like it. So Amada, ladies and gentlemen. Amada. I like it, it's cute. And it doesn't stink, you know. All right, let's get on to wig number three. This one, y'all, is a is this one is gonna be a vibe for y'all because, like I said in earlier in the video, you make too much noise. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't remember trying blonde. I probably did before, but nothing as dramatic and drastic. I'm going to show you guys my my way of stepping out. My way of stepping out and trying some new and I also have a music video coming out soon. So this is gonna actually help me, you know, come out and have a new look for you all and you know what I'm saying? Slay. Cause you know so many things that a bad beat can do. That okay, so I'm about to show you guys what it's looking like. Let me get my knife so I can find my knife. So here is Empress, y'all. Honey, child. Honey, child. Oh, and they got the baby hair. Wow. And see, I won't be able to use my baby hairs for this. There's no way in heck that I'm going to be um, bleaching my edges. My edges have been through enough. No, so I'm not going to part my edges, but knowing that these has baby hairs is perfect. Wow, look at the two little cute little baby hairs up front. And look how it comes out. Okay, so let me give you guys the specs. It has two combs in the front, one comb in the back. See that? And of course it comes with some 
straps. See that? Now, this unit, y'all, is long for the gauze, okay? I have to stand up for this one. Okay. So, I'm 5'5". Five five. This wig is most likely going to go down all the way down to my butt. Under my butt. But yeah, this is really long. This goes down to my, right underneath my butt. Um, and I'm 5'5". Five five, so, oh, so this actually is just the straight down wig. I guess I might blend my, my edges. But it just has the, the baby hairs right here. See? And the part. No. Okay, so I just got... I just got uh, two or three strands. Definitely just got two or three strands. See that? Okay. So I just went my. Uh, so I just ran my fingers through the hair about three times, and this is what I got. I definitely got some hair. Um, not a little bit either. So this tells me that, of course, it just confirms to me that. This hair is not an everyday hair, obviously. You're gonna be snatching edges everywhere with this hair, girl. Okay, but yeah, like I was saying, that this wig is only really good for like outings. For me, it's gonna be good for videos and photography reasons. Um, you know, it's really pretty, but it sheds like a doll, y'all. So, I don't suggest wearing this wig every day. Of course, you're not gonna be seeing me wearing this at work, but it's a really cute wig. I like it. It's not heavy on my head, so I'm definitely going to do it. Definitely going to try it. So, stay tuned, guys, and see how I rock and slay these wigs. Definitely stay tuned because I'm definitely going to try one of these wigs on, and I'm definitely going to slay it. I'm definitely going to take this stuff out. So, um, I'm going to need you guys to stay tuned. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Definitely stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because we're on the beginning of a journey, you guys. We're on the beginning of a journey. So please click the subscribe button below. Click the like button, y'all. Just click the like button for me. Show some love. Show some respect. Put it on my name. And definitely support me through everything because I am invoking on a good, great journey. And I need you guys to be a part of it. And please, please comment. Please comment because comments are so important and it definitely helps me, you know, get feedback and helps me create myself as a woman. But definitely stay tuned because I'm definitely about to rock and slay you two for the rest of this year. So y'all better stay tuned and definitely stay tuned for these edges, child, because they definitely get better. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm definitely going to show you guys the rest of the video. So, like I said, stay tuned. They La Soul. Um, we're out, I guess. We're out. We're out here, y'all. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. No, they can't stop her, and she tripping. Don't pop her, speak proper with my brown lips. Yo, my hips popping when that beat dropping, and that ass shake like an earthquake. Look, my words bake nice and high. I get a little wise when that bud hit my eyes. Budweiser, when that bud hit my eyes, I'm Budweiser. I'm Budweiser. When that bud hit my eyes, I'm Budweiser. Like closed open, like a Louis red vest. Yo, my shoulders showing. Hit the deck when the lower class get to know and fuck the rest be coming up. Wait a sec, we running up. Black women on the front lines for the prize.
no ducking, hun. Get your shit ready, you the lucky one. Go and fuck it up, let them know what's up.